Thanks for sticking with us. I'm Lindsay Boach, and this is Good to Know. So my job is pretty awesome. I get to tell you about all the really good things that are happening across America. Not everyone's able to do their jobs, though, but they're finding creative ways to make ends meet and give back. Nate Stevens never expected to be here. He never prepared for this. I'm used to a little bit of chaos day in and day out. A chaos he's made a career out of. Tattooing is everything to me. Nate stopped doing tattoos on March 12th, just as the COVID-19 crisis was ramping up. But in the whole scheme of things, we're not important to the rest of the world. We don't provide a meaningful service in terms of continuing to carry society. So if we're put on the back burner for a while, I understand that. And Nate turned his kitchen table into his workspace. If I'm not tattooing someone, no money's coming to our family. So t-shirts were my solution. Still creating, but in a different way. It's called the Rose of No Man's Land. During World War I, it was a French song. And No Man's Land is the line between the two opposing forces. So in World War I, Rose of No Man's Land, the Red Cross nurses, that's what you wanted to come save you. Putting a mask on her would change, change it enough that it became modernized, but still had a traditional look. Nate will sell these custom shirts online to help support his family in the short term, but also to give back. He's donating 20% of his profits to support healthcare workers. Pretty amazing thing about tattoos is, for me, they're, they're a timestamp. They're a point in your life that you want to memorialize. It's a horrible, tragic time. It's a weird time in American history. But Nate hopes his art will resonate for years to come. It's a grim memory, but it's a good way to remember what you learned from this experience. It's fun to share our talents, and this professional costume designer in St. Petersburg, Florida, is using hers to sew face masks. Who wouldn't want a designer mask? The best part, she's giving them away, professionally designed and sewn face masks. She just wants to make sure her community is protected and not breaking the bank. With the Woodford County Detention Center on lockdown since March 10th, the lobby has been transformed into a sewing center. Inside, a group of nine inmates, normally out on work release, are busy making masks for anyone who needs one. Luckily, my kitchen manager, she used to have a sewing shop. So she had tons of material, sewing machines, an embroidery machine. And so it just grew from that little idea. Jailer Michelle Rankin says most of the fabric came from donated clothing they couldn't use. Each mask carefully crafted from one step to the next. Some masks personalized with embroidery. And they come up with their own new ideals and stuff. I'm, I can't brag on them enough. They've done a great job. I was out of practice. And thanks to Linda, she kind of fed me the skills back. One of my sergeants asked if we could put an N95 filter and I did have the mask. Oh, um, so what they've done is they put her name on it, but in the inside, is, this is an N95 filter. So they have Velcroed that in, so she'll be able to wash this. So how many masks have you all made, would you guess? About 300. And the orders keep coming in. A lot of people reached out and asked if they could purchase them, which we're not selling them, we're, we're just giving them away. <laughs> These tailors in training, working hard for Team Kentucky. Now to New York, where a man's lifelong mission is to do good, continuing with his family business. Five generations of a family business. People, people don't last that long with the same family. My grandfather was the master pizza maker, but he taught my father. Joseph Miliucci's dying wish on April 6th was a request to his daughter, Regina. Keep Mario's restaurant going on Arthur Avenue. I promised him... Um, I promised him that morning that I would, um, no matter how hard it was, I would go back and try and make it work. He said, go back, you have to try, you know, once this ends. In 2019, the 81-year-old patriarch toasted his large, thriving family and the employees who made Mario's a Neapolitan delight for a century. Mario's 100th year anniversary. Yay! He was the heart and soul. On Christmas, he always had 
a big table set up. He also invited those who didn't have anywhere to go, and there would always be a seat open for someone. Although the restaurant is iconic, Joe's father, the original Mario, turned down a chance to be part of movie history when he said no to having Al Pacino carry out a hit job from The Godfather inside his place. He said that he didn't want that astigmatism of somebody getting killed in his restaurant. Miliucci told the story at the annual Italian Heritage Lunch last fall. He loved his annual fishing trips on Columbus Day. He got sick shortly after St. Patrick's Day. Granddaughter Lauren is a nursing student at White Plains Hospital who was allowed to visit. He wanted me to take a picture that said, I love you, and he wanted me to show everyone how much he loved them. Lauren was able to hold his hand for a time. He is older, and he's 6'2", and he's big, but he was scared and vulnerable, and he just wanted someone to hold his hand. Near the end, Joe Miliucci told his family he didn't want a ventilator and was able to FaceTime with all of them. He kept writing notes to daughter Regina about things that needed to be done. His mind did not want to shut off. When he promised me he would be there with me, he would be there with me to help me, I would feel his presence. And I, and I said, okay, Dad. A Cleveland area family is planting good vibes around their neighborhood. They're handing out seeds and everything else needed to start a garden. Check out their sidewalks. The colorful directions are right there. Grab a cup, some soil, some seeds, and then go home and see what you can grow. An awesome idea and a great way to grow healthy food. I have a feeling that family is going to be getting a lot of delicious veggies this summer. Now that's good to know. She was like, I want to do a date and I want you to dress up, you know, like how you dress up for a wedding. Oh, are you my date? Mm -hmm. Henry Williams, five-year-old daughter Jasmine, also knew exactly what she'd wear to a special date night with her dad. A wedding dress, high heels, a crown. Then they sat down for a delicious dinner. Her dad made sure that everything was perfect. Pulling out the chair for her, you know, showing her how, you know, basically a guy should, you know, treat a, a lady or a young woman. Take notes, gentlemen. Her favorite part of the night? He getting me the roses. With the help of mom, they were able to record this special night. He hopes their video will inspire you to find joy right where you are. Find something to, to bring you some happiness, and I'm sure a lot of us have happiness in our homes, and we just, at times like this, that everybody's stressed out and worried, you know, we need to um, try and be happy and live with what we have. Thank you for all these wonderful things. We hope the coronavirus is on Finally, the family workout that'll have you laughing and sticking together. Got my own, my own little gym in the backyard. For the last couple of weeks, I try to get hit the gym like quite often. Working out has taken a little extra creativity. Right here, I have sets of bands. From bands, come right here to a fence. Do some lower back. Samuel has pretty much used it all. Oh yeah, even his mom. He's just mom, I need you and I think he think I'm fat. It's not your typical squat, lunge, press, or push up. If you can't like get a good workout from it, at least you get a good laugh from it. You know, and bomb that way. <laughs> and of course it does not always go as planned. But it's bringing them together. It's about like being closer to your family. You know, you kind of don't have a choice, you know. <laughs> One rep at a time. We connect like better than ever. We always good friends, but it's now it's like we have more time to do things together. It's really fun. A lot of laughs from that family. Well, we've had a lot of good news from all across the country, and hopefully we've inspired you to spread some cheer in your community. Some of your talents might help make somebody's life a little bit more positive. And isn't that good to know?